Hi guys, welcome to this week's grocery haul. I missed it last week because I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a break. We didn't get anything very different to what we normally get. And um, I thought today I'm gonna do a combined one. So usually I do my Aldi grocery haul and then possibly a Tesco top up haul. This time I'm gonna do the two of them together because we went on the same day. So I'll show you what we got in Aldi and Tesco together and then at the end I'll tell you how much it all costs. And excuse the state of my plat, this was a normal plat but it's the end of the day and I just did the kids bath time and yeah that is it. So let me show you what we got this week. So this is everything we got for the week. I'm going to start with the Aldi stuff. So over here we've got three packs of the all butter croissants. They are our favourite and then we have some white bloomer traditional bread. These are so tasty and so soft. If you haven't tried these, I'd highly recommend you try them. Our three four pints of whole milk. And over here we've got something different to try. This is the rhubarb and custard English cider and it's a pack of four. We have the triple cooked chips with duck fat. We got these before and they were very tasty. We also got the pulled pork burgers and we got these last week and they were so tasty. So, so tasty. I was very surprised. Um, we have the Little Delights yogurts for James. We have two packs of those. Easy peelers for James. We've got chicken breast fillets, egg fried rice and a korma so sauce for a curry. Over here we have chicken with cheese and leek gratin. gratin. I'm, I still don't know how to say this. If anyone knows, tell me on the comments below. How do you pronounce that word there? Gratin? 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 <laughs> I don't know, but they are very tasty. We've got two packs of the red seedless grapes. We have two smoked um, haddock fillets. And we have the Scottish cooked mussels again. We have been really enjoying these. This week, instead of the pepperoni, we got the hoisin duck, uh, Carlos wood-fired Italian pizza. Some pineapple chunks, because James loves them. And we got something new that we haven't tried before. These are the beechwood smoked bacon loin medallion. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these. Let me know if you've tried these before and if you liked them. And we have, did I say that we have the cooked ham trimmings again? The only annoying thing is the fact that you have to use everything within 24 hours of opening but yeah we can use these in sandwiches. And last but not least from Aldi we have four breaded fish fillets. Now on to the Tesco top up stuff. So in Tesco we got two packs of water wipes because we used those on our little baby girl. We've got Colgate toothpaste daily repair. We've got Johnson's No More Tangles shampoo for James. We've got Lynx Africa, what's that, body wash for my husband. And we've got two packs of bibs. We don't usually get this on a weekly basis, but I thought I'd show you anyway. We got two packs of these bibs because they were such good value for money. It's a pack of four for four pounds. So I got two packs of them. And we also got some socks for James. These are so cute. They've got little sort of eye monsters characters on it. And we also got him a pair of sandals because the weather has been lovely outside and he's outgrown all of his sandals from last year. We got a pack of 20 uh, bin liners. Um, I never know which one to get. I just get whatever one I think will fit our bin. Then we have James's Annabelle Carmel meals. We've got some beef cottage pie with veggies, chicken with butternut squash and rice, tasty spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs, another beef cottage pie, another chicken with butternut squash, and another tasty spaghetti meatballs. What are you doing? <laughs> Mummy's almost done. And last but not least, we have Isabella's nappies. So she wears size three nappies from Tesco. So that's everything that we got for the week in Tesco and Aldi. And I'm gonna put the total on the screen right now over here. And uh, yeah. I don't think it was too over budget. We needed some bits that we don't usually get every week. So that's why it ended up being a little bit more expensive. And now I better go and give this boy his dinner and I'll speak to you on my next food shopping haul. If you enjoyed these videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.